Is it possible for hackers to control your electric vehicle and trigger a battery fire? Well, hold on a second, because if you've been watching the news, you heard about thousands of pagers and walkie talkies held by members of Hezbollah exploding. My first thought was, holy cow, could this happen to electric cars or any car for that matter? It appears that overheating a battery can cause an EV fire or even an explosion. And that can happen with any electronic device. While the devices appear to have been physically modified, the incident highlights a security concern for electric vehicles and connected cars. And a lot of people are talking about this. Vehicles have a number of safety systems to prevent the battery from catching fire and overheating. All the manufacturers are doing this. And the battery packs in electric vehicles, well, they're much larger than a handheld device. So as all car manufacturers are putting up firewalls and protections, there's still nothing that's 100% secure. These safety systems are run on software that can be hacked, especially since they're already years old by the time the vehicles are built and sold. And when large lithium ion battery packs catch fire, the result can be anywhere from a smoldering fire to a large chemical chain reaction, or even something explosive. Before you flip out and say gas cars can catch fire too. Yes, I'm aware of that fact. However, any connected car can be hacked. That's hybrids, plug-ins, 48 volt architecture cars and EVs. They all have larger battery packs. And if a vehicle with a battery pack is hacked, we have a huge issue. And this is not clickbait, it's possible. Let me explain. But before I do, please like this video and subscribe to stay up to date on all breaking automotive news. Security expert Roy Fridham, CEO and Chief Revenue Officer of C2A Security, an Israeli-based cybersecurity company, focuses on the automotive industry. He said that one automaker told him that the software that controls a motor has two million lines of code. And that's just the motor. And this is from a recent post that was in Just the News. He stated in quote, you have hundreds of millions of lines of code inside a vehicle. And if you're talking about an autonomous vehicle, it's even more. But the number of lines of code in a vehicle is continuously growing. He said that in addition to lines of code in the vehicle software, there's also wireless connections to the internet for software updates, Wi-Fi connections, and connections for the charging infrastructure. And there are connections for the electricity grid for vehicles to grid technology. We've seen that where you can charge back to your home, which allows EV owners to sell their energy storage and capacity to grid operators. He said in quote, the more communication protocols you have, the more lines of code you have, and the more you are susceptible to controlling something that will trigger events that are, let's call it malicious, Fridman said. A recent report stated that there is software to remotely disable cars that already exists inside American-made vehicles. And the report argues such a tactic could be used maliciously by a foreign adversary. In addition, cybersecurity experts are looking closely at the possibility that EVs could be hacked to cause all kinds of problems. And this includes stealing personal information such as credit cards and banking information during charging station transactions, or possibly making the battery catch fire. We have covered this before. You can check that out up here. Friedman also stated that the complexity of the vehicle and supporting infrastructure, as well as all the communications involved, creates a lot of opportunities to influence what's happening inside the vehicle. He also stated, I believe in my personal opinion, there is a constellation in which you can create a battery overload and disable some of the protective mechanisms. And this is not good. Lithium ion batteries can catch fire. And when they enter an uncontrolled self-heating event called thermal runaway, most often it occurs due to damage or a defect in the battery. This battery protection is controlled partially by a computer and these EVs are always on. So even when the ignition is off, if the battery coolant control is tampered with, a fire would quickly start. An overheated battery gives off toxic flammable gases, which can cause an explosion. And at the very least, they produce smoldering, smoking fire. That's a huge risk, not just to the car, but also to firefighters due to the difficulty of extinguishing it. There are a few companies that are working with car manufacturers to protect access from outside evil people. Vehicles with battery packs have something called a vehicle battery management system or BMS and it monitors protects and optimizes electric vehicle batteries and that includes maintaining safe temperatures but it's certainly possible it can be hacked and we've heard about Jeeps many years ago being hacked and accessed remotely as well as Tesla's a lot of vehicles have been in this case 
But this is a story that we will continue to track because we wanna make sure that if you purchase an electric vehicle, that you're safe and the people around you are safe. There's a link in the description for a deeper dive. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this and check out our car review channel, Car Smarts. You can support me by buying me a cup of coffee. And if you want even more content, check out the links in the description. I'm Lauren Fix. Thank you so much for watching.